Hi everyone. Well, as you can see, we've got all of our bits out. We're making a template for this little blade. Um, we're following YouTube, trying to get tips on what we need. We've got all our bits and pieces, probably got far too much, probably all the wrong stuff. But we're gonna make ourselves a sheath. So uh, stay with us and here we go. Right guys, I got the boss on the job. I've got my wife um, measuring up. So we cut the template out. Um, I'll probably put a link in the bottom actually because it's, it's relatively easy to do, I think. We'll see what happens when we finish. So now all she's doing is she's marking out the leather in the shape of the, of the template. And then we'll cut that out and then we'll move on to the next stage. So there you go. Right everyone. We've um, cut out the template. My wife's enjoying using a hammer in my close, or in the vicinity of me, I should say, which is always a bit worrying. <laughs> so we're just gonna go right now, get all the holes ready. Then we'll um, put the welt in. Now for anyone that doesn't know what the welt is, the welt, can I just show them, Jack? The welt goes in here like this. Oh, sorry, on the inside, sorry. So your welt goes in there like that so that when you close it together, obviously, so it's not closed completely up, so that your blade will slide in back. I'm sure you all know that, but just in case you don't. So there we are. We'll come back to you in a second. That mark, she lines out all the way around, and you can see we're doing it. I mean, it's not perfect, this one. Don't expect it. And then what you do, you bang all your stitching holes in, this one like this. And what Jackie's doing now is going around with an awl. Well, I know that one. And she's just poking the holes all through. So that's the next stage, and that's what we're doing now getting ready for the stitching and obviously on the belt loop as well she's done that but that will be on the opposite side obviously because it's going to go over so there we are so as you can see we've got the sheath all cut out all the holes are done and now Jack is using the die to die the lot obviously apart from where the belt loop will go so we're going to leave that little space and that space on there and um, she's just going to do a bit now she goes Sorry Jack, don't be nervous. Go on, just do it, go. That's it. Could you give it a couple of coats, I think, anyway. There we are. Don't forget to do, yeah, uh, don't go over the hole. I have been. Okay. And obviously the reason we're leaving the gap here is because we've got to glue this to the back of the sheet as well, so. Yeah, yeah. Go up a little bit further, probably. Yeah, got yeah. There we are, guys. Girls, sorry, I must stop saying that. Um, quite satisfying this, and I'm not even doing it. What? What'd you do it for you? <laughs> so what you don't do, everyone, done. right, is go over the hole or where you're going to go because obviously you're going to be dying it, and you're going to be stitching it. There we are. You see. Hopefully if we go over to there like that, and then that'll be stuck down there, so that's why you don't do anything with that. But that's all painted, or painted, that's all dyed. And the edges are dyed, but obviously we don't edge, um, do the edges, because the edges will be having edge coat on, which is obviously a different product. And then obviously on the back, we've done that, so when you've closed the sheet that you can't, you know, you can't see anything. So that'll be left to dry now. Um, and then next step will be, Getting stuff ready. Put that one in. Hopefully it should look alright. Thank you very much. See you later. So now done our saddle stitching for there. I mean obviously you know it's it's not as perfect as I want it to be. But you know first bit of leather I think me and the wife are doing alright. Um so what I did then and this is all down to Sandy obviously from Jack Lord Blades. I've got all credit to him for this. Um he had a very good tutorial on there, and I, so I watched a lot of Scots as well. But this is um, this was just Sandy, and um, I've been watching what he did. So it's stuff like uh, you know cutting little V's down here so that I'm assuming sure it folds a bit better. Recessing this out with a little tool so that the the, the stitching is is flush. I've seen someone else on another one using epoxy. They put epoxy over the top of it to seal it. I don't know. I don't know if it needs it, but you know it's an option. 
Um, and then Sony uses a treatment on here. Is it neat foot or something? I'm not sure, but I haven't got that. So I'm gonna have to think of something else to put on there as a, as a protector for the inside of the leather. So that's about it done. And then next stage now, I've stuck the sheath together now, as you can see. So it's, it's stuck together. Again, it's not perfect. Um, lessons learned is make sure you leave enough room you stitching because I've gone a bit tight there I think like I said this is my first one so uh, I've taken that onto the sander and just sanded this down as well as I could but because I was, I've got the, the stitching holes too tight obviously it makes it a bit more difficult um, also another lesson which obviously I should have done and we didn't is I watched Sandy's video again and he only puts a row of, uh, of holes down one side when the, the sheath's open so obviously when you close it up again, you put your, your, your forks back in the same hole and bang through to make the holes the other side. Well, we didn't have that luxury, but amazingly it seems that we've um, we got away with it. So, but there we are, that's where we're up to now. So Jackie's gonna stitch up this now, saddle stitch this up, we're gonna give that a go. I'll then put edge coat on, which goes on the edges there. I'll then burnish it with this one afterwards to finish it and then I think that's gonna be it I think that will be the sheath finished so yeah quite pleased getting there right Jackie's now saddle stitching up the, the sheath as you can see Using pliers to pull it through, but if you have a look, she's pulling it nice and tight to give it a good, good bit of strength. But I mean, that ain't looking bad, is it, guys? Come on, mate. So there we are, nearly done. Is it still on that edge of the leather? Yes. So this is the last, last stage, guys. Edge coat. My wife's now expertly applying it. Going through. And then we'll have a look when it's finished. I'll put some of this, um, I don't know if it's the right stuff, whether you guys use it or not. I've got Aussie leather conditioner to go over the top and to kind of sort out. So we'll have a look, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with it really, our progress. And then we'll see if the knife fits. <laughs> Hey guys, right, well you've all seen the build of this. This is on the end of the lever kind of sheath making build. And there's a reason I built this. Um, a mate of mine who's been there all my all my life basically, as far as I can see back, you know, anyway. Um, been there in, a, in the highs and lows and it's his birthday yesterday and I made it for, for Simon. So happy birthday Simon. Thank you very much buddy. You're welcome buddy. Night. Um, enjoy Thank it, you. get some use out of it. Will do. And thanks again. Thanks for being there bud. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye. Nice one. Thank you.